Hey team, Josh Wagner here, creator of Patient Mastery, where we help awesome DCs become the go-to chiropractor with more time off and a pathway to financial freedom. So in this video, this quick training, I'm gonna be sharing with you um, the when and the why behind actual patient education that leads to retention rather than that leads to more skepticism, more distrust, and more dropouts, even when the goal of patient education is to get retention. So let's just start off with where patient education come from? Because it wasn't DD, it wasn't BJ, it wasn't the masters of our uh, techniques. You know, they weren't teaching that in the early 1900s and 20s and 30s, 40s, no. It came about, ooh, that's a strong sun. It came about at the same exact time, hint, 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 as insurance came about. So you've got stage speakers in the late 70s teaching chiropractors how to see more visits, bill more services, um, bill more codes, how many more visits can we pack in a care plan. At the same time, they're the ones saying, oh, now we realize when patients don't have to pay for care, this third party is gonna pay for care. If we educate them why they need 60, 80, 120 visits over the course of a year because insurance is gonna pay for it all, it'll make it easier for patients to keep coming in and accept it. And that worked. That worked in the 70s and 80s and 90s. But depending on your state and depending on your location, what you've seen is insurance isn't the same as it was five, 10, 20 years ago. Education worked when patients didn't have to pay. Education doesn't work the same when patients do have to pay. And if you are noticing that in your practice that you can't get away with being in network and making the money you wanna make by seeing the amount of people you wanna see, or you're out of network or you're more cash and you realize it's a whole different ball game when patients have to pay with credit card, pay with cash, um, it is a whole different practice pathway to success. So, you know, it makes me think I was, I was talking to a DC who was stuck and that's why they told me this, is they asked if they should still be playing the patient education video on the new patient first visit before they saw the patient. And I just, I felt so bad for this DC. Like that was a novel concept in I think 1978. It was like, you know, Reekman's new renaissance or renaissance. Like they were the first ones to have patient education videos and it was like really, really ahead of their time and, and you know, that was a smart, that was a cool strategy back then. That was 44 years ago. And docs are still using video that I'll tell you aren't that much better than 44 years ago. So when someone's in watching a video, an educational video on here's what chiropractic is or here's why this technique is good, they're on their phone on social media or they are texting a friend like, I can't believe what I'm going through right now. I came to a chiropractor because I need care and I'm watching this 12 minute um, video that looks like it was made in 1995. So just don't start people off on that process. It doesn't help. They're thinking, why can't the, pra the doctor tell me this themselves? Why doesn't the doctor have enough time uh, to tell me this on themselves? Or you know, are they trying to get me into a timeshare? Because when I went to a timeshare sale, it felt the same way, like we had to watch this educational video. Uh, so just don't do that. And here's one of the big premises. When you're still operating in the model, of thinking patients need to agree with you, understand chiropractic, or accept chiropractic, and I mean as a concept, as a, um, yeah, this might be able to help me. When you practice in that paradigm, it leads you to all of the gimmicky, sabotaging things that have been created in our profession since 1977, whether that's bait and switch techniques, whether that's fear tactics, whether that's drowning patients in education tactics, whether that's let's bill for services that we don't really think they need, but like it'll bring in more checks at the end of the month. It causes all these sabotages, but we don't live in that model. Patients don't need, and this is a big one, write this down. Patients don't need to agree with, accept, or understand chiropractic care in order to pay you easily pay you well, which means more than you're getting paid right now, whether it's by insurance or by your fees, refer to you even when they thought and hoped insurance would pay, follow your recommendations and continue after. That's the patient math mastery model and process. That's why you see so many testimonials, so many case studies of docs talking about 
I didn't have to hire more team. I didn't have to spend more on marketing. I didn't have to work more hours. I could take more time off, practice is easier. I didn't have to start doing other services. I didn't have to abandon chiropractic care. Um, I don't feel like a salesman anymore, closing patients. I don't have pressure or nervousness when new patients are on the books or I'm going over recommendations and fees. Like all of the common pain points of chiropractors, which are legitimate based on what you're left with when you graduate from school, what society gives you as feeling like the redheaded stepchild of medicine, and what you're taught, which some of it worked really well in the 80s and 90s, and most of that doesn't work the same now, it's all normal to have those feelings. What we do is show you how to become the go-to chiropractor with how you think, how you communicate, and how you process in a good way, give a new patient experience that you'd be happy for your own mother uh, to go through. So let's talk about, real quickly then, if it takes you more than 15 seconds to describe what you do and why you do it in terms of chiropractic or your technique, you're losing the patient. It's going over their head, it's confusing them, it's overwhelming them, and they've checked out. So time yourself, like whatever part of your spiel, whether it's in the consult and the recommendations that you're going over, again, your specific technique, how Cairo is different than whatever else you may be comparing it to, if it's more than 15 seconds, you're losing them. Next, on the first few visits or the recommendations convo or maybe a lay lecture you do, how much are you educating them before they start seeing symptomatic change? Now that's different from resolution, that's different than results, that's different than asymptomatic. I'm just talking about progress. Progress, that's it. The more, think of it as a scale, the more you educate before they start seeing results, the tougher you're making your practice for retention, referrals, or continuation, or reactivation. Why? Because before you start getting results, you could have, you could be charismatic, they could like your personality, you could be super friendly, but inherently, they may trust you, but they don't trust yet that it's gonna work. Why? Because it hasn't yet. That's just reality, black and white. So before they start seeing results and progress and feeling better, anything you're saying to them is pretty much going in one ear and out the other besides what the expected uh, outcome is gonna be. That's what they wanna hear. They wanna hear that you expect that and you're leading them to it through a pathway that works and you have confidence in. And we teach you exactly how to do that. Once they start feeling better, two things happen. One, they trust you more. Oh, this is working. So what you said before is actually now getting to true. So whatever you say now, I'm more likely to believe you. That's a big part. But the second is when someone comes into you and they're in pain, which 90% of them are, or do they're just stressed because they have a condition or both, they're not in logical parasympathetic brain mode where they can understand subluxation, spinal models, nerves, um, a new paradigm on health, inside out healing. They can't understand that. That's timeshare sales talk. That's over their head. It's, what did I sign up for? Where am I? Can you help me or not? However, once they start feeling better, they're out of stress mode, they have the trust in what you said is true, it works, then they can start hearing your education, whether it's about other conditions, whether it's about maybe other members of the family, children, maybe it's about what's possible next after this one gets resolved. You know, they came in for neck pain, but you know you can do a lot more for them than just resolve their neck pain. So anything you want to educate them on, anything you want them to know, the time to start doing it is when you've proven that what you do works. That might be after the second visit, first visit, fourth visit, second week. I don't know, it's gonna be different and dynamic for everyone and that's what's amazing. You're not a robot, you're not a cookie cutter script model of every patient visit has, this, has like a different script, which I've seen you know, on note cards, which just sounds like an awful way to go through life and practice of feeling like a robot. Um, and retention goes up, reactivations go up, care continuation goes up, referrals go up, and what do all that mean? What is all that? Less marketing, more collections, more profits, more ease, more fun for you. That's what we focus on in patient mastery. 
if you want, especially if you're stuck in that common area of high teens per month thousands collections, like 17, 18, 19, 20,000 a month, it's very common for chiropractors to be stuck in that area or in the 20,000s a month collections, not income, collections. If you wanna get 15 to 20,000 more a month, so going from 20 to 35 to 40, from 30 to 45 to 50, that's what we specialize in. Comment ready below in the comments and we'll show you how to talk to one of the coaches on our team, get a one-to-one -one game plan to show you how to get from where you are to where you wanna to get to based on your goals, your needs, your practice, your wants, your philosophy, your technique, without changing any of that. Just showing you the proven pathway, the yellow brick road, to start getting a lot more patients, paying for your care, raving about you online, telling people about you, following your recommendations, and practice getting a lot easier. So if you'd like a gifted one-to-one -one game plan session, comment ready below, and we will show you the keys to the kingdom. Thank you for all you do. You deserve an amazing practice, an amazing life for helping so many people get back to their life. Thanks for being a great chiropractor.